let's go so guys this is our new favorite restaurant here and this is already our second time um last weekend we wanted to eat here but they were close all right so let's go get it just opened this restaurant and the, i really like the interior so this restaurant is really wide so there is a that's a people oh not really so this is Hi hey guys, so we already found our table here and for now we are um, waiting for, you know, someone to take our order and Chris wants me to try um, the shrimp and the cheddar grits. What about you, Tommy? Do you already have yours? Yeah, I'm just going to get the chicken breast. Chicken breast. Alright, so guys, you know what? This place is really, really, really awesome and uh, you know the weather, it's cloudy not gloomy just cloudy and a little warm it's just a really beautiful place you know a must visit restaurant and i think it's really famous and um let's see and we're gonna have our order and i'm gonna show you more about this place this restaurant is really big and it has th three four levels, levels. Uh, okay four That's levels four so i'm gonna show you later i hope that i'm gonna give you some tour here all right so later see ya for our appetizer right now um this restaurant has really really great cornbread and i really like this and the corn is really refined really i like the other bread that i tried in a supermarket but this one is really refined really and very creamy and yummy i i really wonder how they bake this all right so just an appetizer for now and the main dish are coming so for now guys i just really want to show you how this looks around here look at that so that is that oh. uh, that's a barge that's a yeah that's a barge. barge yeah so uh they are loading this coal yeah they bring it from the uh, coal mines to power plants yes for right. the aluminum smelters yeah so you know this river is so active in their business so they are, it's a trade river and it's so wide very wide so another side is kentucky another side is kentucky and where we are right now is um indiana so that's it you can never see any uh, sports activities here i think it's pretty dangerous but sometimes i can see um some boats well it's not actually dangerous. like there's a lot of water skiing done on this river and boat racing yeah private boats you know because and you have your own jet ski that's really awesome and then you do see jet skis yeah um and there are cruise ships that run up and down and uh boats. all right so there are just very few people for now here is the uh, cold barge so on the coal barge you're gonna see at the very front a trump 2020 uh, flag oh okay and uh in our election joe biden has sworn okay. to shut down all coal production in the u.s why okay in order to um, uh, reduce global warming and, um, and if he does that though he just cuts it off all the people on the boat and all the coal miners power plant people will all be out of the job. And eventually they'll disappear, but just to shut them down without a transition plan isn't making anybody too happy. So guys, oh, there's another barge there. And what is that? It's well, it's, not coal. No, it may be corn, considering it's covered. Corn or oil. Actually, there may be some oil tanks. So they run oil up and down, uh, gas and oil up and down in Barbie. So if they shut this down, uh, the operation of coal, so I was going to run here in this river. Well, you'd still have probably gas, oil, uh, gas, and corn. Corn. 
corn, wow. like this corn. Yeah, and they do yes, move US has a lot of uh, corn. They do move uh, cargo, uh, industrial equipment. Moves corn. Up. And you know, that what really amazes me, guys, because you know, America is really producing lots of corn. And I think seeing this, you know, amount of corn in the US, I think US can feed like people around the world. All right guys, so our food has already arrived. Chris has his burger and a fries. And by the way, this restaurant serves really, really good fries. Really good fries. Yeah, I would recommend landing for their french fries. It's really good. And of course, um, Chris recommended this to me and this is the shrimp and grits. So corn, well, I miss shrimp, but I will try because why did you recommend this to me? It is a southern traditional meal. Incredibly popular. People absolutely love their shrimp and grits. Well, let's try guys. And if All you right. don't like it, we'll get you something else. Okay. Oh my god, guys. So this is the southern food. And I was really surprised. This is very yummy. Oh my goodness. I think I am ordering this next time. Yeah really good combination with shrimp i think they complement each other it's really yummy very creamy i think they put lots of cheese here okay guys are we already done and i was very happy and so satisfied with our food here the service is really good and we're going around and we already asked them if we can take you know video here so let me tour you around how cool and so beautiful and so perfect this restaurant here I think so next time we're gonna go, we're gonna make it to the top. Thank you. <laughs> you have a great day. Thank you. So they have their bar. So here's the exit, right? It's an exit. All right, so they have their bar here. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so guys, we are so satisfied, and this place is really, really, really cool, and highly recommended. So since there are actually like five levels plus here outside, if you just really want to have coffee or like at night, and you don't like the feel of the river at the back, then you can have here. You know, in the afternoon there are so many walkers here and dogs. Really, so busy street. So if you are in Newburg or somewhere in Indiana, this place is really, really perfect for everyone. And the name is The Landing. So this is a new restaurant. So this is how it looks like outside. So if you want to go fishing then you can do that here they have stairs it's very convenient to go down there and if you just really want to take a rest and you know feel the wind very relaxing here guys and around here there are so many um you know businesses here like um you know clothing stores and a lot of restaurants here too so maybe next time we're just gonna explore some other restaurants so we can you know Thank you so much guys and hope to see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, to like and share Filipino Wife Abroad and have a wonderful day guys. See ya.